Hey guys, John here at the Mishimoto Garage. Today we're going to be installing the Mishimoto Direct Fit Oil Cooler Kit for the 2004 to 2006 Pontiac GTO. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exclusive content. Today we'll be installing the Direct Fit Thermostatic Kit. If you've purchased the non-thermostatic kit, you'll need to fabricate your own brackets for the oil cooler. To take your GTO to the next level, also check out the Mishimoto Performance Aluminum Radiator and Silicone Coolant Hose Kit. Let's get started on the install. Tools required for installation are 3 8 drive ratchet, 8, 10, and 13 millimeter sockets, 5 millimeter Allen key, 10 millimeter and one inch wrench, Phillips head screwdriver, pop clip pliers, and painter's tape. Installation time is about two hours. Installation difficulty is a three out of five. Set the vehicle on an automotive lift or raise it with a jack and place it securely on jack stands. Refer to your owner's manual for safe lifting points if you are unsure. To protect the paint, apply painter's tape to the fender where it meets the front bumper cover. Do this on both sides. From underneath the vehicle, reach up behind the bumper cover on the driver's side and unplug the connector for the fog and signal lights. To release the connector, pull outward on the tab, then pull the connector apart. Remove the Phillips head screws that secure the fender liners to the front bumper cover. There are two on each side. Remove the three Phillips head screws that secure the top of the bumper cover to the radiator support. Release the outer edges of the bumper cover from the retaining clips by pulling outwards from inside the wheel well. Do this on both sides. Remove the front bumper cover by sliding it forward off the nose of the vehicle. Remove the foam bumper by gently lifting on the tabs at the inside corner of the headlights and sliding the foam bumper forward off the crash beam. Disconnect the electrical harness from the horns. There is one horn on either side of the vehicle. Remove the six 13 millimeter nuts that secure the crash beam to the vehicle and remove the horn assemblies. Remove the two pop clips that secure the air diverter to the crash beam. Remove the crash beam from the vehicle by pulling it forward. Remove the two 8mm bolts that secure the power steering cooler to the cooler support bracket. Remove the Phillips head screws that secure the passenger side cooler support bracket to the radiator support. Gently pull the power steering cooler forwards and remove the passenger side cooler support bracket. Remove the pop clips that secure the plastic radiator cover. Reach behind the middle of the radiator cover and locate the clip that secures the cover. Pull upwards at this clip. The clip should remain attached to the cover. Now remove the cover from the vehicle. Remove the 10 mm bolt that secures the inner corner of the passenger side headlight. Remove the 10 mm bolt that secures the inner corner of the driver's side headlight. Remove the 10 mm bolt that secures the upper edge of the headlight to the radiator support. Remove the 10 mm bolt that secures the bottom of the headlight located behind the radiator support. Pull the headlight assembly forward. Some force is required to separate the headlight from the body. Reach behind the headlight and separate the two wiring harness connectors. Do this on both sides. Place a drain pan under the oil filter and remove the oil filter. Remove the two 10 mm nuts that secure the cover to the side of the oil filter housing. Then remove the cover. Use a fresh rag to clean the oil filter housing mating surfaces. Install the Mishimoto adapter plate where the cover was located. The flat side of the adapter mates to the oil filter housing. Secure the adapter plate with the provided 10 mm nuts. You cannot reuse the original hardware. Keep in mind that the adapter plate is constructed of aluminum, so do not over tighten the nuts. Remove the two 13 mm bolts that secure the power steering line to the oil pan. 
Install the Mishimoto oil line manifold. Lubricate the O-rings with fresh motor oil and insert the manifold into the adapter plate so the O-rings mate with the oil filter housing. When properly installed, the threaded ports on the oil line manifold will face downwards. Secure the oil line manifold using the provided 8mm bolts. If you are having trouble getting the oil line manifold into the adapter plate, check the clearance between the oil line manifold and nuts that secure the adapter plate. Adjust the nuts as needed. Install the Mishimoto Power Steering Line Relocation Bracket. Align the bracket with the original mounting holes and secure it with the original 13mm bolts. Then secure the power steering line to the bracket using the provided 13mm bolts. Install the provided AN fitting to the port marked out on the oil line manifold and tighten it down. Install the provided banjo fitting to the straight end of the braided oil line. Slip a tight fitting socket into the banjo fitting to hold it while you tighten the oil line fitting with a 1 inch wrench. Route the banjo end of the oil line between the lower radiator hose and the hose below it. Align the banjo fitting with the oil line manifold. Install a washer on the banjo bolt, slide it through the fitting and install another washer on the bolt. Then thread the banjo bolt into the oil line manifold and tighten it down. Route the other oil line alongside the first. Install the 120 degree end onto the straight fitting on the oil line manifold and tighten it down. This line needs to be clocked towards the center of the vehicle to provide clearance for the sway bar. Mark the free end of the hose attached to the out port with painter's tape to identify it later. Prepare the inline oil thermostat. Remove the two 5mm Allen bolts from the sides of the oil thermostat and remove the U-shaped mounting bracket. Install the U-shaped mounting bracket to the mounting bracket in your kit and secure it with the provided 10mm nuts and bolts. Install the oil thermostat housing to the mounting bracket. The ports marked to cooler and from cooler must face the shorter leg of the mounting bracket. Secure the thermostat with the Allen bolts. Mark the port on the oil thermostat labeled to cooler with a piece of painter's tape to identify it later. Install four AN fittings to the ports of the oil thermostat and tighten them down with a one inch wrench. Prepare the oil cooler. Orient the cooler so the inlet and outlet ports are at the top. Mount the smallest cooler bracket on the upper left hand corner of the oil cooler so the side with the bolt holes faces you. Secure the bracket to the cooler with the provided nuts and bolts. Mount the tallest bracket to the lower right hand corner of the oil cooler so the bolt hole faces you. Secure the bracket to the cooler with the provided nuts and bolts. Mount the last bracket on the lower left hand corner of the cooler so the bolt hole faces you. Secure the bracket to the cooler with the provided nuts and bolts. Install the anti-chafing strips. Apply one strip to the sheet metal just above the inner mounting hole for the crash beam on the driver's side. Apply the other strip to the sheet metal just in front of the driver's side wheel well. Install the oil cooler. Position the oil cooler so the ports face downwards and align the hole in the left side mounting bracket with the inner bolt hole of the passenger side headlight. Thread in the original 10mm headlight bolt, but do not fully tighten yet. Gently pull back on the power steering cooler and move the cooler support bracket into position. Secure the top of the cooler support bracket and the upper right side mounting bracket of the oil cooler with the original Phillips head screw. Secure the last oil cooler bracket to the cooler support bracket using the provided 10mm hardware. Fully tighten the 10mm bolt which secures the passenger side headlight. Secure the bottom of the cooler support bracket with the original screw. Install the 90 degree end of the shorter oil cooler line to the oil cooler fitting closest to the center of the vehicle. Install the 90 degree end of the longer oil cooler line to the oil cooler fitting furthest from the center of the vehicle. 
Route both oil cooler lines along the front of the vehicle, behind the cooler support bracket and power steering cooler. Secure the power steering cooler with the original bolts. Lift the oil cooler lines upward and install the crash beam. The free end of the oil cooler lines should run above the driver's side crash beam. Secure the inner edge of the crash beam with two of the original nuts. Install the passenger side horn assembly and secure the passenger side of the crash beam with the original nuts. Then connect the electrical harness for the horn. Install the oil thermostat and bracket. The port you marked with tape earlier should be facing downwards. The horn will be relocated. Secure the crash beam and oil thermostat with the original nuts. Remove the outer bracket from the driver's side horn. This bracket will not be used. Relocate the driver's side horn to the outermost hole on the nose of the car, directly under the retaining clip where the bumper meets the fender. Secure the horn assembly with the 13mm bolt you just removed and the provided 13mm nut. Then connect the electrical harness for the horn. Install the longer line from the oil cooler to the rear port on the top of the oil thermostat. Install the shorter line from the oil cooler to the front port on the top of the thermostat. Install the line from the oil line manifold port marked in to the rear port on the bottom of the oil thermostat. Install the line from the oil line manifold port marked out to the front port on the bottom of the oil thermostat. This should be the line and port you marked with painter's tape earlier. Check to make sure your lines are routed over the anti-chafing strips you installed earlier. Connect the electrical harness for the driver's side headlight and push the headlights into position. Secure the headlights with the original bolts. Install the radiator cover. Align the clip at the rear of the cover with the mounting slot and push it into place. Then secure the cover with the original pop clips. Lubricate the oil filter gasket with fresh motor oil and install the filter. Secure the air diverter to the crash beam using the original pop clips. Install the foam bumper by pushing it into place. Install the front bumper cover. Slide the bumper cover into place. Tuck the fender liner inside the lip of the front bumper cover. Working from the inner corner of the headlight towards the outside, snap the bumper cover into the retaining clips. Secure the fender liner to the front bumper cover using the original screws. There are two on either side. Secure the top of the bumper cover to the radiator support with the original screws. Connect the wiring harness for the fog and marker lights. Start the engine and allow the vehicle to warm up to operating temperature. While the vehicle is running, inspect all of your connections for leaks. Shut the engine off and check the oil level one more time. Top off the engine oil and start the vehicle. Allow the vehicle to idle for a few seconds, then shut off the engine and check the oil level again. Top it off as required. Now that you've installed your new Mishimoto oil cooler kit, double check to make sure that all your connections are tight, top her off with oil, and take it for a test drive. Also, don't forget to click subscribe.